one of the most common ways that attackers look to gain access to networks and steal credentials is via unpatched machines with vulnerabilities. This particular machine here, I've already scanned and looked at some of the reports that's opened. I can see NetBIOS and SMB. Um, I can also see that uh, RDP port is opened. Uh, but if I scroll down, I've actually run the script that will actually show vulnerabilities. And here I can see this machine is vulnerable to the actually MS17010, and that's known as Eternal Blue. So now I'm going to target this in order to gain an initial shell. So I'm going to move over to Metasploit Framework, and now I'm going to search for Eternal Blue. I can see here that's already returned a result that it's actually number three on my list. So I'm going to use number three. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the options that it required. Um, this really only requires the R host, the target machine or victim machine, um, which port to use, and then ultimately also which machine that I want to actually make the call back to. So let's go ahead and set those. We're going to set our target, which is 192.168.95.128. Then I'm going to set my L host, which is my you know the attacker machine. And right now it's on Ethernet uh, interface one. So once I've got those set, I can simply now run this exploit. And because the machine is vulnerable, it should actually return a shell. As you can see, I've actually got an interpreter shell. I can go and actually check and see what user I've got. I can see I've got anti-authority system, so it's basically the top level access to that machine. Also check and see what type of machine it is. We can see it's a Windows 7 machine, 64-bit. Um, and one thing we can then do is actually extract the hashes. This allows me to then try and crack those credentials in order to gain persistent access without having to create a new user or create any additional footprints in this machine. So we can go ahead and take this hash uh, from the machine. I've already copied it across to my cracking system. So you can see here I've got the administrator along with a hash. Since I've already cracked this in the past, I'm simply going to run hashcat and the mode 1000. And actually the patchy.txt is where the hash is located. And then I'm just going to show this. You can see here that I've been able to crack this easy password, which is something that we should look to avoid making sure that users are not creating easy administrative passwords that attackers can gain access and crack those so they're going to get persistent access.